there's always a debate between um, ourselves, Chamawa here, and down at um, Riverside, down at Anadarko. They claim to be the oldest. But I think I keep telling those folks down there, there's one key word there, continuous, continuously run. So there must have been a breach in there, uh, they're running or whatever. But we've been around for 129 years. as they walk across, that 129 means something. There's a lot of meaning behind that. There's a lot of stories. There's a lot of trials and tribulations between those, on those 129 years. When those young people, those 18 people, back in 1885, purchased this land, when they were working, when they went to school for half a day, then they worked for another half a day in the fields, and they gathered and pulled their money together, to purchase this land. They did that for a reason. There is vision. And as they said, as long as this land is here, there will be a school here. And our 350 acres, prime land, a lot of people after our land here, right on I-5, you know. But some real good things have happened. And as we're here today in a healing journey, some not so good things took place back then. When people were forced to do something that they ne not necessarily um, agreed to, or thought was the right thing, there's some problems. And I don't know what all took place back then because I wasn't there, but I hear these stories about the cutting of the hair and not speaking of the language. Um, I got a picture hanging up, I got two offices. I got one down here and one up in Seattle. And as my picture is hanging up down here in my office, I can see these kids. Jamal Indian Training, um, Training Center. And you see these kids hanging out the window. They're all in uniform. They're lined up throughout and stuff like that. And there's one commonality in that picture. There's one thing that you see that's really prevalent. And that's, there's not a smile in the, on that kid's face. On any one of those kids that you see there, there's not one smile. There's inverted smiles, upside down smiles. It wasn't a good place back then for some of those folks. But as Nadine has said, you know, I moved on and there's things that happen for reasons. My heart's always gonna be part of Chamao. I'll say, this is my baby. So I'm going to take care of this place. As a native man, I'm going to take care, take care of this place. And I vow that. And I'm in, in a position to take care of 10 schools right now, 10 Bureau of Indian Education schools in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. And I'll, I'll give you my word that we're going to do the best damn job we can with these kids because this is our future. There's no way, my passion, my passion will come out. There's no way that I'll let these kids get hurt. And as we, we worked here over the last four years at Chimala, when I first came in, we had 400 and some drug and alcohol incidences, over 400. I said, what's going on? This is more than a school. This is a place where kids are socializing and partying and this and that and whatever else. And this needs to stop because it's gonna have a direct impact on what we can do. And you can't feel good about kids walking across the stage knowing that they're not in the right frame of mind. And I truly believe, and I, I ask the staff members to stand from Chamawa Indian School, if you would stand, please.
We, we need to take these kids under our wing and nurture and love and show them and help them and assist them in whatever way we can. And for the lack of a better term, I said, we turned this place upside down. We shook it out. We've made some good changes. Our test scores have doubled. Our incidences are on a decrease. Last year we had 97 total incidences on campus. Our fights and assaults and assaults are very There are some good things that, happen, that are happening here at Chimau Indian School, and I ask for your support, your prayers, your thoughts to stay with us because we know that we alone cannot make this happen. We're finding partnerships, building partnerships, asking for people to help and support because the one thing that I, I keep saying is there's no way that these kids are throwaway kids. There's no way that these kids deserve anything but the best and that's what we're gonna give them. They come from 23 states and 72 tribes. So we have our own little uh, United Tribes here. And I asked Mr. Moccasin, I said, Mr. Moccasin, we need to hear the kids. Take on, our tri take on a, a group of kids and call it the Tribal Council so that we hear and that they're heard. So good things. Mr. Warner Austin, Miss Pigsley over here, you know, good people, care about kids, want what's best for kids. Good things are happening at Chamao Indian School, home of the Braves. Aho. Thank you, John. Good words to live by and to work by. Okay, at this time we're going to take a short break. Uh, let's limit that to uh, the program says. 10 minutes, we'll start out with 10, if it goes to 15, you're doing good. So, 10 minutes, timekeepers, keep track. We have to raise our children, and that's the important thing that we learn. But some of us don't have the knowledge or wisdom to do that appropriately, and so we have to get the training to do that, and that's okay. That's what it's all about, to share that. And it's okay to learn something new and apply that in your own family circles, in our communities. Bring in the elders. You know, we didn't ask um, what we're adding to come to Chimawa, but they said it would be a good idea. So it was a gift to Chimawa community. And we love that gift. You know, this afternoon, we're going to do a lot of healing. When Don spoke about that, we had a planning meeting yesterday in administration. It was a very moving, emotional experience, knowing that we're part of this movement and we're beginning to share. For the elderly, for the men especially, you know, it's okay to share your emotions. For the longest time, Don spoke about that for men, it's very difficult to actually share the emotion, share that pain, share that feeling, share those thoughts. And he said that's the first step to healing that we need to do. So that's uh, what I learned yesterday. And each one of us has to do that daily. We have to pray together. We have to share those thoughts and feelings of what's going on inside so we can gain that balance in our own families. Okay, we're moving back into, uh, I'd like to, uh, is Don out there yet? Okay, he's getting ready. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to introduce a great gentleman, a father, a grandfather. He's a member of the Mohican Nation from the Stockbridge Muncie Reservation in Wisconsin. He currently lives in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Is that true? Yeah. 
just make the old information. 